and uh, it's really good, and I must share it with everybody. We so. say it in a pirate voice, please. I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. Here we go, folks, real quick. Well, it's not real quick, it's kind of long. Uh, down the dock with a swaggering walk came another salty lad. A hollow fid was in his hand, a sextant in his bag. From the placid Caribbean, where he made himself a name, he'd come to join the big rigs and sail the bounding main. Of spinnakers and bloopers and Cunninghams and such, he could tell you A to Z. He seemed to know as much as all those red pants yachties who would tell you the storms they fought while sailing around the sound in boats of frozen snot. <laughs> but he claimed to know the gaffers. He could tell you throat from peak. He had brought along his Ashleys and smeared tar upon his cheek. And the moment he stepped aboard, that big rig salt stained deck, his eagerness to take the helm was barely held in check. Now Wayne the mate was forward and Dan the bosun too, just sitting in the rum shark's lounge, knocking back a brew. Now I don't know, said Wayne the mate, about our newest hand. He claims to be a schooner boy, but his boots are full of sand. He steps aboard and spins a yarn of all the rigs he's known. But let's see him in the widow's maker when the haws is full of foam. Let's send him aloft on a stormy night with a belly full of supper and have him hand the topsails while there's fishes in the scuppers. <laughs> I'm not done, I'm not done! I like long pauses. <laughs> I agree, said Bosun Dan. There's a lot more. <laughs> I agree, said Bosun Dan, and so I have a plan with which tonight will prove the mettle of this man. You meet me here in the Rum Shark's Lounge, and though our ways be rude, we'll make a proper schooner boy of this inland waters dude. So that night in the forecastle, they assembled all the gang. The fun was fast and furious, and loud the hooch bird sang. Amidst the din of shanties and strumming of guitars, in walked the new recruit, the jaunty, would-be tar. I'm not done. <laughs> a yachting cap was on his head, top ciders on his feet. But the boys arose to greet him and offered him a seat. To the brotherhood before the mast, we welcome you, they roared. We knew you were one of us the moment you stepped aboard. And so said Bosun Dan to the blushing new deck hand, we've assembled the elite of the schooner fleet and they're here before you stand. And just one thing would make them smile, one thing would bring them joy, and that's to see you, honored sir, a bona fide schooner boy. Now the same some say is one who sailed through a roaring water spout, but to most genuine authorities, this definition doubt. And it is the opinion of this assemblage of renown that a schooner boy is one who drinks a sea slug cocktail down. <laughs> a puzzled look across the new man's brow. I trust you do not tease. A cocktail I'm familiar with. Well, what's the sea slug, please? Well, we're not surprised, said Wayne the mate, the slug you do not know, for they cling to the keels of deep water ships and seas where big rigs go. They're soft and fat and pasty white and feed upon red lead and bottom slime and barnacles and stuff that's pumped from the head. <laughs> uh, toughish yarn, the new man laughed, as well you may admit, but I'd like to see that little beast before I swallow it. Tis easily done, cried Bosun Dan. Ho, cook, haste and bring. Bring forth some pickled sea slugs, the vintage of last spring. So the cook went to the galley and in the reefer found a jar of slimy sea slugs and sperm whales vomit drowned. <laughs> she mixed the critters up in a shaker of squid secretion and handed them over to Wayno and Dan who drank down the creation. The would-be schooner boy turned green, his face a ghostly pale. He bounced
found it from the forepeak and had it for the rail. And there he pumped his bilges while the schooner boys made jest. For if you've read your service, undoubtedly you've guessed. The sea slugs in those cocktails of such formidable size were just chunks of macaroni. <laughs> Red ink dots for eyes. <laughs> but if you were a schooner boy, you would know it were no sham. Those were bona fide sea slugs. No sweat for Wayno and Dan. <laughs> for a schooner boy is forged in hell. He knows not little pains. His stomach's lined with iron and there's salt water in his veins. <laughs> yeah! Now you can clap. Go back to drinking. <laughs>